Yes, yes ma'am. Ma <clears throat> uh, can you see this handwritten PDF efficiency formula? Isn't it? That one is only visible to all of you, right? Percentage efficiency is output by input into 100. That one page is visible? Yes, ma'am. Ha, okay, okay. Uh, so see, yesterday we have seen direct loading method, uh, which is used to uh, calculate its efficiency and voltage regulation. Uh, so voltage regulation we have done E2 minus V2 upon E2 into 100. And <clears throat> graph also we have seen for R and L type of load, as you go on increasing the load, voltage across it decreases, E2 is greater than V2. Uh, and uh, that's why voltage regulation go on increasing. Okay, and for capacitive type of load, it's a negative voltage regulation because for capacitive type of load, as you go on increasing the load on it, uh, V2 becomes greater than E2. Okay, uh, and efficiency formula also we have seen W2 by W1. Watt meter you connect on secondary and primary and do W2 by W1 into 100. That is the efficiency. So W2 is nothing but its output power. W1 is nothing but its input power. So whatever input you give to transformer, how it is utilized to overcome the output and losses. So I can write here input is equal to output plus losses <clears throat> into 100. Isn't it? Uh, so whatever the losses takes place, we have done with that iron and core, uh, iron and copper loss. Iron is also called as the core loss, isn't it? So out of these two, which one is constant and which one is variable? Iron is constant or variable? Core loss, iron loss is constant or variable? Damn it is constant. Very good. And copper is? Copper loss, very good. Copper mm -hmm. loss is very good. Very good. Okay. So iron loss constant and copper loss variable. Okay. Now, whatever is the output, it's a single phase AC power. Formula for single phase AC power is VI cos square. And it is output and secondary side. So I can write it as V2I2 cos of phi 2. Where cos phi here is a load power factor. Whenever I say it's a V2I2 cos of phi 2, so V2 is the voltage across load. I2 is the total load current and cos of phi 2 or cos of phi is the load power factor. Okay. Now, if you see this one in the numerator, V2 I2 is what? KVA rating, isn't it? So, you can uh, replace here V2 I2 as KVA rating Okay, in this formula. So, here you can see percentage efficiency formula, KVA rating we can uh, V2 I2 means volt amperes and kva if i am writing then into 10 to the power 3 okay so v2 i2 is volt ampere and k i have written that's why into 10 to the power 3 so v2 i2 cos of phi 2 same parameter is there v2 i2 cos of phi 2 and plus iron loss plus copper loss into 100 okay now copper loss we have seen in transfer of parameters also before that also formula is I1 square R1 plus I2 square R2. And when we learn the transfer of parameters, that time we have seen formula for copper loss. You can use I1 square R1E. It's a total copper loss referred to by this one formula. I2 square R2E, it's a total copper loss referred to secondary. So whatever all the three formula, you can use this one for total copper loss. You can use this one or second one means these two, this one or this one or this one. By all three, you will get the same answer. Sometimes uh, in the numericals, when you get asked to calculate the efficiency, directly they mention the load copper loss. So you can put here value directly. But sometimes they don't give direct value of load copper loss. What is given to you? KVA rating, V1, V2 and R1, R2 they give. So, using KVA rating and V1, V2, you can calculate I1 full load and I2 full load. Okay. And then R1, R2 is given to you. So, like this, you have to calculate the full load of loss. Or refer to primary also, you can calculate refer to secondary also. You can calculate once you know the value of R1, R2, V1, V2 and KVA rating. If this value you know, 
out of these three, any one formula you can use to calculate the copper loss. Okay. Or sometimes in numerical, they just uh, give KV rating V1, V2, and R1, R2, and they will ask you to calculate the full load copper loss. So use this one formula or this one or this one. Any of it you can use. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, this one formula, if you see <clears throat> here, we require KV rating. And we are saying KV rating is equal to what? V1, I1 is equal to V2, I2. As load on transformer, you go on changing, I1, I2 changes. Means KV rating also changes, isn't it? Uh, whatever in the specifications given KV rating on the nameplate of transformer, suppose 1 KV, 110 volt, slash 220 volt. So here, whatever the KV rating given, it's a full load KV rating. But suppose you get asked calculate the efficiency uh, at, if you get asked to calculate it at full load KV rating, then directly you have the value. Uh, full load uh, means if you get asked to calculate efficiency at full load, so full load KV rating is given to you 1 KV 110 volt, so directly you can use that, no issue. But sometimes they ask you to calculate the efficiency when the load is 75% uh, of full load or 80% of full load or 60%, 50%, 40%, 95%, so on. So at that time, what will be the KV rating? KV rating will be different. Then how to calculate it? So for such uh, things, to calculate for such conditions, whenever you get asked to calculate the efficiency at any percent of load, this is the general formula you have to use for that. Here n is used n parameter n into kv rating into 10 to the power 3 cos phi divided by same parameter plus iron loss plus n square full load copper loss where n is ratio of actual load upon full load. Okay, so here <clears throat> as n parameter is there, so whatever is the load given to you, suppose load given to you is, uh, you have been asked, calculate the efficiency when the load on transformer is 75% of its full load. So what will be the value of if you, and the actual load is how much? N is actual load upon full load. Actual load is how much? What I ask you, calculate the efficiency suppose at 75% of full load. So actual load is how much 75 percent of full load upon full load it will come like this 75 percent 75 percent of full load divided by full load like this will be the formula of n n is equal to so n ki kya value i give you full load full load will cancel isn't it full load full load here uh, will get cancelled. So, n will be how much? Yeah, n, huh? this is n. n will be how much? 0. 0.75. Very good. 0. 0.75. 0. 0.75. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, so here, uh, see, value of n will be what? Suppose it is given to you. Calculate efficiency when the load is 75% of its full load. So 75 divided by 100 into full load upon full load. So full load, full load will cancel n will be 0.75. So 0 0.75, 0 0.75 you can put here. Here it's 0.75, its square will be there. Then you can put here value of uh, full load KV rating. Here also full load KV rating and here full load copper loss. Then whatever the efficiency, it will be when the load is 75% of the full load. And power factor also given. Okay. So this is the in general. Whenever you get asked to calculate the efficiency, everyone use this formula. Okay. If W2 and W1 directly given to you, then directly say W2 by W1 into 100. Okay. But if uh, KV rating is given, power factor is given, iron loss is given, Copper loss is given, and how much is the load is given? Then use this formula to calculate the efficiency. Okay. <clears throat> so, whenever you plot the graph efficiency versus output power, um, we have performed direct loading method on transformer, isn't it? So, there we go on increasing the load on transformer, and we note down uh, V1 is constant, 1 and 10 volt. If you remember this observation table. Show you. 
whatever we have done uh, yesterday, that one table I showed to you. This one, V1, I1, uh, W1, V2, I2, W. So here, W2 by W1, you can calculate the efficiency. So efficiency versus output power. Result table, see here, output power and efficiency you have. Plot the graph for that. So once you plot the graph, you will get it like this. See, uh, when the along x-axis is the output power, as we go on increasing load on transformer, output power increases. Okay. <clears throat> And when no load is there on transformer, W2 is zero. When W2 is zero, then obviously efficiency is zero. Now you can see as we go on increasing the load, efficiency initially increases, then it reaches to maximum and then it decreases. So why the nature is like this? Um, we have seen losses, iron and copper. Iron is constant and copper is variable. Iron is also called as core loss. Okay, so core loss is constant and copper loss is variable. What does it mean? As load you go on changing, output power changes, increases, isn't it? Load on transformer, you go on increasing, output power increases. Means load here on transformer, we continuously go on increasing. So as you go on increasing the load from this point, suppose I'm going to mark it as a O up to A. What is happening? Iron loss constant, eh? Iron loss is constant and copper loss is continuously changing and it is increasing because you are increasing the load. And in BL Hareja, you can find the derivation. That derivation not included in your syllabus, those who are interested can see the BL Hareja. Okay. So when both the losses becomes equal, suppose iron loss is given to you 200 watt and copper loss continuously changes at no load condition, copper loss will be very less and it will be only because of primary winding. Um, and then later on, as you go on increasing the load on transformer, what is happening? Copper loss increases, isn't it? <clears throat> so iron loss is constant, copper loss is increasing. So suppose iron loss is 200 watt. So when copper loss also become 200 watt, you will find that one efficiency is the maximum. Hmm? And that one derivation is there in the real current. So when both the losses are equal, efficiency is maximum. Sometimes in numerical, you get asked, calculate the maximum efficiency. And then only they give the iron loss. Suppose iron lo you, you get asked, calculate maximum efficiency and iron loss given is 200 watt. Then how much you will consider the copper loss to calculate the maximum efficiency? 200 very good, same 200 watt, okay? So, um, when both the losses are equal, that one efficiency you will find is the maximum. Hmm. Now, uh, this is the maximum efficiency point. This one, okay? So, obviously before it, which one loss is greater? Here both are equal and from point O up to A, Iron is constant and copper loss is increasing and loading from O to A, we are continuously increasing. So copper loss is increasing. Means what does it mean before, yeah. below maximum efficiency point, which one loss is greater? From O to A, load we are increasing. So copper loss increasing, iron loss is constant. And at maximum efficiency, if both the losses are equal, then what is the condition below maximum efficiency point? Iron is greater. Correct. Iron loss is greater than copper loss. Got it? Iron loss is greater than copper loss. Very good. <clears throat> and then at maximum efficiency point, both becomes equal. And beyond this point, if you further increase load on transformer, which one loss becomes greater? Copper loss. Very good. Copper loss will become greater than iron loss and that's why efficiency start to decrease. So why the nature of efficiency is like this? So when no load is there, output power is zero. So efficiency is zero. And then later on, as you go on increasing load on transformer, as iron loss is greater, 
that's why efficiency increases when both becomes equal that one efficiency you will find is the maximum and beyond this point if you further go on increasing Rolon transformer copper loss becomes greater than iron loss and that's why efficiency starts to decrease okay now here in this uh, graph this is the maximum efficiency point this one so both the losses are equal here sometimes at this maximum efficiency point you will get us calculate the current and calculate the kv rate so directly formula you have to use for that its derivation those who are interested can refer the other data. again for this also derivation not the reverse levels okay <clears throat> so sometimes in numerical you get us calculate the current flowing through secondary winding at maximum efficiency. So, what is the formula for that? It is at uh, current flowing through secondary. Excuse me, please, ma'am. Uh, yes. Ma'am, the screen on which graph was uh, shown is not visible to us. Stop the link. So, what do you think about this? Yes. Yes. The other screen is not visible. Now, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. न्यूमेरिकल पावर थ्री same parameter divided by iron loss plus copper loss this is the gen, uh, whatever the formula you have used this one is only uh, applicable for full load uh, because uh, as you as load on transformer you go on uh, changing i1 i2 changes kv rating changes so suppose if you get asked to calculate the efficiency at 50% 70% 60% uh, then uh, how to calculate the uh, efficiency okay in such condition so for that this is the general formula of efficiency you have to use so whenever you get, you will get asked calculate the efficiency whether maximum full load 75% 60% whatever use this formula okay in this formula n is what ratio of actual load upon full load so whenever i say it's a 75% of load so 75 divided by 100 into full load will be the actual load 75% of load okay 75% of full load so 75 divided by 100 into full load upon full load so full load full load will cancel and you will get 0.75 okay so here n you have to put 0 0.75 0 0.75 0 0.75 it's square and then now kva rating you can put here full load so full load kva rating into 0 0.75 will be the actual kva rating on it of transformer when load is 75% like this so automatically <clears throat> you will get the value of KV rating for that particular load. Okay. Uh, this one formula, see here, uh, efficiency versus output power whenever you plot graph. So along x-axis, it's the output power as load on transformer go on increasing. Uh, output power increases. So efficiency initially increases, reaches to maximum and then decreases. So uh, here, <clears throat> why the nature is like this? Uh, at a maximum efficiency point, you will find both the losses are equal. Its derivation is there in BL region. Uh, so when both the losses become equal, that one efficiency is called as maximum efficiency. Uh, when no load is there on secondary, output power is zero, efficiency is zero. And as you go on increasing the load on transformer, iron is constant, copper loss increases. That's why you will find efficiency initially is uh, increasing. Why? Because iron loss is greater than copper loss in this region. That's why. Then when both becomes equal, then that one efficiency will be maximum. Beyond this point, what will happen? Uh, as further load on transformer, you go on increasing, uh, copper loss becomes greater than iron loss and that's why efficiency starts to decrease. Okay. So these are the reason why efficiency curve is like this. Initially it increases, which is to maximum and then decreases. These are the three reasons for that. 
Okay, sometimes in numerical you get asked calculate the maximum efficiency. So you have to assume iron loss and copper loss both are equal. Okay, uh, sometimes uh, in the numerical you get asked to calculate at maximum efficiency whatever the current going through uh, secondary winding and at maximum efficiency what is the KV rating. Okay, so I two M ka formula dikh raha hai sab logo ko. Yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, so see current flowing through secondary that's why suffix is 2 it is the current flowing through secondary when the efficiency is maximum that's why suffix is m so formula is full load current on secondary side into square root of iron loss upon full load copper loss okay so sometimes in the numerical there is a need to calculate the current at maximum efficiency hmm? so directly formula its derivation you can see in bl harija then sometimes in the numerical, you have to calculate the KV rating at maximum efficiency. Load then they don't specify how much is the load. So you can't calculate the value of N. N is what actual load upon full load. And if you don't know the N, you can't calculate the KV rating, then you will not get the KV rating. Then you can't go for efficiency. So a KV rating at maximum efficiency directly formula is there. It's derivation you can see in BL Tharija. So full load KV rating into square root of iron loss upon full load copper loss. Whenever I mention here KV rating, it is nothing but it's a by default full load KV rating. Okay. So KV rating at maximum efficiency, sometimes there, while calculating efficiency, this one formula you have to use for KV rating. Okay. So KV rating at maximum efficiency is full load KV rating into square root of iron loss upon full load copper loss. <coughs> so we'll see now numericals on this formula. Mm -hmm. uh, so everyone concentrate because uh, this is uh, such type of numericals you will get asked on efficiency. So see here, only in one numerical the maximum all parameters I have covered. A transformer is rated at 100 kVA. At full load, its copper loss is 1200 Watt. Means its full load copper loss is 1200 Watt and its full load kVA rating is 100. And its iron loss is given 960 Watt. So you have been asked first thing, calculate its efficiency at full load, unity power factor. Hmm? When the power factor is uh, 1, calculate the full load efficiency. <clears throat> See next one, second one, efficiency at half load, pointed power factor. Efficiency at 75% of full load, 0.7 power factor. Load KVA at which the maximum efficiency will occur and maximum efficiency at 0.8 power factor. Again, you just go through that in one minute. Uh, <clears throat> see what are the parameters you have been asked. Hmm? We'll solve one by one. Okay. Um, see what is given. Full load KV rating is given to you. Full load copper loss is given. And iron loss is given. And then efficiency you have to calculate. Barabar numerical dikhra hai sab logo to? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, so see uh, efficiency ka formula we know just now we have seen ye efficiency ka formula ye use karna hai where n is ratio of actual load upon full load. Okay, so yaha pe <coughs> pehla solve karte abhi efficiency at full load and power factor is unit. So efficiency you have been asked to calculate at full load. This one formula I will use. N is actual load upon full load. So efficiency you have been asked to calculate at full load. Means N key value kya aegi? Full load, actual load upon full load. Means it's a ratio of full load upon full load. So N will be what? One. 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 Very good. So N is one for full load. Okay. So put all values and power factor is given. Means in this formula N is one. KV rating is given 100 KV. Means 100 into 10 to the power 3. Cos phi is given unity power factor. Same parameter hai, jo bhi numerator mein hai, wahi denominator mein hai. Again, plus iron loss is given 960 watt. Plus n square means 1 square. Full load copper loss is given how much? 1200 watt into 100 will be the efficiency. All values you know only in the formula you have to put the value. Hmm? In transformer, I already told you the numericals are only in formula you have to put the value. Okay, so see here, 
n is power factor is given one n is ratio of actual load upon full load so you have been asked to calculate the efficiency at full load so actual load value will be full load upon full load n will be one okay so put here all value c n is one 100 into 10 to the power 3 kV rating into cos phi is 1 divided by same parameter plus iron loss plus n square full load copper loss. In 200, you will get this answer. Any difficulty with this? <coughs> the next one, calculate the efficiency at half load when the power factor is 0.8. Hmm. Power factor is given and you have been asked to calculate the efficiency at half load. Okay. So, here N will be what? It's a ratio of actual load upon full load. So, it is given to you to calculate the efficiency at half load. Means actual load is half load upon full load. So, half load I can write half of full load. Isn't it? Upon full load. So, full load, full load will cancel. N value how much you will get? 0.5. Dikh rahi hai sab logo ko ye window n is 0.5. Yes ma'am. Thik hai? N we got 0.5. So now rest value you know power factor liya hai 0.8. Hmm. So we have been asked to calculate the efficiency at half load. So n is 0.5 and into kV rating into cos phi divided by same parameter here. For my convenience, I have written numerator as it is. You don't write so. You write complete parameter. Okay. Uh, plus iron loss 960 plus n square full load copper loss. Okay. N square 0.5 it square full load copper loss 1200 watt into 100. Okay. So half load efficiency you will get this one. Any difficulty with this? Everyone can calculate? Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Kuch difficulty hai to kuch hmm? Okay. Abhi third beko, third kya pucha hai? When the power factor is given 0.7 and you have been asked to calculate the efficiency when the load is 75% of its full load. So, n ki value kya aegi? N is actual load upon full load. So, actual load is what? 75% of the full load upon full load. So, full load, full load will cancel. N will be what? 0.75. Got it? Okay? Yes, ha, N ki value. Fir ye N ki value put karo. Efficiency ka jo bhi formula hai. Usme ye page repeat hua hai. Uh, ye PDF mene aap logo ko meja hai. Uh, same page. Do bar scan hai galti se. So ye repeated hai. Abhi yaha pe dekho efficiency ka formula. Hmm? N value is 0.75. KVA rating is 100 into 10 to the power 3. Power factor given 0.7. Same parameter plus iron loss, plus n square full load copper loss. So, in 200, you will get it 96.98. Any difficulty in calculating efficiency for any load? Hmm? Means, you can calculate? Okay? Okay? Now, next question, kya pucha hai? <coughs> load KVA rating at maximum efficiency. So, uska to direct formula hi hai. Load KVA rating at maximum efficiency is equal to full load KVA rating into square root of iron loss upon full load copper loss. So, we want answer in KVA. That's why 100 I have written. No need to do 100 into 10 to power 3. Because then again answer you will get in volt ampere. Again you have to convert it to into KVA. No need. We want answer in KVA. So, directly 100 only I put here. KVA rating 100. And full load iron loss given 960, full load copper loss given 1200. Okay. So load KVA at maximum efficiency, you will get this one 89.24 KVA. Any difficulty with this? Okay. Okay. And the grass of course, load KVA at maximum efficiency, page. Yes, hmm? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Abhi, haan. Abhi ye wala important hai. Next. Ye previous to easy tha. just only in formula you have to put the value. Okay, now ye dekho. Yaha pe kya pucha hai? Fourth one was like uh, calculate load KVA at which 
मैक्सिमम इफिशियंसी में लगकर तो उसका तो फॉर्मूला है डायरेक्टली फॉर्मूला वी हैव यूज दैट वन इक्वल टू फुल लोड के वी रेटिंग इनटू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ आयरन लॉस अपॉन फुल लोड कॉपर लॉस यूजिंग दैट वी गॉट फोर्थ वन नाउ द फिफ्थ वन इज इंपॉर्टेंट सी व्हाट यू हैव बीन आस कैलकुलेट मैक्सिमम इफिशियंसी एट 0.85 पावर फैक्टर ओके कैलकुलेट मैक्सिमम इफिशियंसी एट 0.85 पावर फैक्टर मींस इफिशियंसी आपको कैलकुलेट करना है मैक्सिमम इफिशियंसी एंड पावर फैक्टर इज गिवन बट हाउ मच इज द लोड दैट इज नॉट गिवन जैसे अभी प्रीवियस देखो सपोज थर्ड वन देखो आप यहां पे क्या पूछा था इफिशियंसी यू विल गेट आस्क व्हेन द लोड इज 75% ऑफ फुल लोड एंड पावर फैक्टर इज गिवन सो पावर फैक्टर यहां पे भी दिया है बट हाउ मच इज द लोड दैट इज गिवन 75% ऑफ फुल लोड मींस इजीली यू कैन कैलकुलेट n देयर isn't it so easily you can calculate the respective efficiency but yaha pe kitna load hai wo nahi diya hai means you can't calculate n theek hai to fir ye formula aap use kar sakte ho kya efficiency ka ye jo formula hai suppose n to calculate nahi kar sakte kyunki kitna load hai wo nahi diya power factor diya hai power factor kitna hai uh, 0.85 hai isn't it So, 0.85 bar factor आप यूज कर सकते हो यहाँ पे पॉइंट एट फाइव यहाँ पे पॉइंट एट फाइव आ जाएगा आयरन लॉस इज नाइन सिक्सटी और इसकी वैल्यू आप कितनी यूज करोगे एन स्क्वेर फुल लोड कॉपर लॉस इज हाउ मच सी यू गेट आस्ट टू कैलकुलेट द मैक्सिमम इफिशियंसी एंड वॉट कंडीशन वी हैव सीन फॉर मैक्सिमम इफिशियंसी वेन वी कैन से इफिशियंसी इज मैक्सिमम What is the relationship between iron loss and copper loss? Both are equal. Very good. Both are equal, isn't it? Means, if you have to calculate maximum efficiency, then how much will the value of n square full load copper loss come? Four hundred and forty-six. 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 960, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Right. Have you got the point? Yes. See, yes, if efficiency, you have been asked uh, maximum efficiency to calculate. Okay. So iron loss is 960, and when the efficiency is maximum, when both the losses are equal, so it does. Uh, means what? ये जो ये formula में n square full load copper loss जो value है, that is nothing but 960. You have to take. so if i equate this one equal to 960 you can calculate the value of n for maximum efficiency two options are there to calculate the maximum efficiency any one you can you see here n square full load copper loss will be equal to iron loss for maximum efficiency so uh, full load copper loss is 1200 and iron loss is 960 you put that n value you will get isn't it and now you got n here 0.8944 so easily you can calculate the efficiency see 0.8944 n u put ye aapko samajh mein aaya kya maine kya kiya ye yahan tak yes ma'am theek hai yahan tak kuch problem nahi hai n ki value abhi aapko mil rahi hai to directly abhi maximum efficiency calculate karne ke liye aap formula use kar sakte ho what is the formula m n we got 0.8944 KVA रेटिंग फुल लोड कॉस्फाई दिया है पॉइंट एट फाइव हाँ एट मैक्सिम इफिशियंसी कितना पावर फैक्टर है वो दिया है ठीक है डिवाइडेड बाय सेम पैरामीटर प्लस आयरन लॉस प्लस एन स्क्वेर फुल लोड कॉपर लॉस एंड एन इज व्हाट दिस वन फुल लोड कॉपर लॉस इज दिस वन इजेंट इट तो ये एन स्क्वेयर फुल लोड कॉपर लॉस अगर आप ये करते हो कैलकुलेट ये प्रोडक्ट करो आप पॉइंट एट नाइन फोर फोर एट स्क्वायर इंटू ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड तो आपको वैल्यू मिलेगी नाइन सिक्सटी सो जो भी इफिशियंसी आएगी आपकी वो मैक्सिमम है ये आपको समझ में आ गया है एनी डिफिकल्टी विद दिस हाउ टू कैलकुलेट ठीक है ये एक ऑप्शन है अनादर ऑप्शन इज व्हाट ऑलरेडी यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड लोड के बी एट मैक्सिम इफिशियंसी एंड हाउ मच यू गॉट इन फोर्थ वन पैरामीटर 89.44 KVA. It doesn't mean ये जो इफिशियंसी का फॉर्मूला है ये वाला 
यहाँ पे आपको जो लोड के भी है एट मैक्सिमम इफिशियंसी ये फोर्थ वन पैरामीटर आपने कैलकुलेट किया है इट इज नथिंग बट दिस एंटायर वैल्यू यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड इन जनरल इफिशियंसी का जो भी फॉर्मूला है इन दिस फॉर्मूला इन द न्यूमरेटर व्हाट इज इट एन इन टू के बी रेटिंग इन टू टेन टू दावर थ्री नथिंग बट दिस वन पैरामीटर इज द वन विच वन यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड इन फोर्थ इज एंड एट एटी Whenever you get asked to calculate the maximum efficiency, so for that n into KVA rating is required, and that will be the KVA rating at maximum efficiency. And KVA rating you already have calculated eighty nine point four four. So whenever I have to calculate maximum efficiency, another option is I'll write here this one is maximum efficiency is equal to and ये जो value है ना this one complete one I will put eighty nine point four four into ten to the power three. Isn't it? Because I got load KVA, यहाँ पे मैंने ये जो calculate किया था, this one I got eighty nine point four four, और cos phi दिया है, and this one parameter then how how much you have to put n square full load copper loss nine sixty, isn't it? This is the another option. See here, ये देखो यहाँ पे मैंने n into KVA rating जो है वो eighty nine point four four put up किया है, हम्म see here maximum efficiency eighty nine point four four 10 to the power 3 as it is power factor to diya hai 0.85 same parameter and numerator plus 960 iron loss plus n square full load copper loss also will be 960 to do options hai either you use this one or you use this one to aap dekh sakte ho yaha pe ye agar aap product karte ho 0.8944 into 100 into 10 to the power 3 Nothing but it's a eighty nine point four four into ten to the power three. One and the same. है. देखो अब और दोनों formula से answer same ही आता है. दोनों method से same ही है. तो ये दो options है. Any method you can use to calculate the maximum efficiency. This one PDF I already forwarded to all of you. You just go through both the pages. It will be clear. Any difficulty? Have you got it? Only ये थोड़ा सा different है. Otherwise previous तो easy है. All parameters you will find and directly in the formula you can put all parameters. You will get. सिर्फ यहाँ पे थोड़ा tricky है कि KVA rating को maximum efficiency calculate करने के लिए load कितना है वो नहीं दिया है. So the thing is either you calculate value of n and put it in this formula or Calculate the load KVA rating at maximum efficiency and then directly use this one. Okay, but the thing any difficulty? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, you just go through this page. Uh, it will be clear to you. Hmm? Okay. This entire PDF is already available on Google Classroom. Go through that and whatever the material I have given to you, solve the numerical solve. Okay. ओके वन अनादर टाइप ऑन नो लोड सो सी ये वाला सब लोगों को दिख रहा है एक टेबल है और उसमें वी वन आई वन डब्ल्यू वन वी टू आई टू डब्ल्यू टू की वैल्यू है यही वाला पेज दिख रहा है सब लोगों को यस मैम हाँ वी वन इज टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड आई वन इज वन पॉइंट फाइव ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नाइन इज एंड एट ये देखो मैंने आई वन को सर्कल किया है वन पॉइंट फाइव ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नाइन सेम विंडो दिख रहा है ओके हाँ Another third one type is this one uh, included in your syllabus. You will get asked. Easy, eh? If you remember, parameters are v one i one w one v two i two w two. Nothing but these are the reading of direct loading method on transformer. If you observe this table, you can find here i two and w two are zero, and v two is hundred. What does it mean? This is the reading at no load condition. I two and w two is zero means secondary is open. And in second reading, if you observe current is flowing through secondary, power is consumed on secondary means some load is connected across secondary. Okay, uh, a single phase transformer when connected to a lamp load give following results. So first one reading with no load because I two and W two is zero and secondary is open. And for second reading, I two and W two is zero means some load is connected. So what you get as calculate the efficiency and voltage regulation of a transformer when the current is I two is twenty five ampere. Means you have been asked to calculate the efficiency and voltage regulation uh, for second reading. 
that is its meaning okay so can you calculate efficiency for second reading w1 you know w2 you know see w2 for second reading you know yes, w1 ha so what will be the percentage efficiency w2 by w1 into 100 any difficulty with this no ma'am theek hai easy hai and can you calculate voltage regulation voltage regulation formula we have seen in previous lecture what is it e2 minus v2 upon e2 isn't it formula okay so in this formula we want the value of e2 and v2 so how much e2 is what no load voltage no load is which reading first one so can you tell me what is the value of e2 no load voltage 100 100 volt very good and in that formula how much v2 you will use 97 97, 97. very good okay so e2 minus v2 upon e2 100 minus 97 upon 100 into 100 will be the percentage voltage regulation and it is 3% okay so here we have finished with the third unit